action for parents and families. My team and I are happy to be with you today and we hope that you and your loved ones are enjoying these summer months. Before we get started with our panel, I'd like to outline a few, a few Zoom rules. First of which is for everyone to please mute themselves. I'll give you a moment to do that. Great, thank you. This is just out of respect for our panelists and the desire to share as much information as possible and to make sure that the recording comes across loud and clear. You'll be able to ask questions via our chat function and we'll be monitoring, monitoring the chat as we move through this panel presentation. You might notice that your question in the chat is answered um, via chat versus verbally. Um, and so we're, we're gonna do our best to monitor those questions as quickly and efficiently as possible. Our panelists will answer as many of your questions today as possible in the time allotted. As a follow-up, participants will receive an email with a link to the recording and the name and contact information for each panelist in case you have further questions or wanna ask questions privately to any of us. This recording will be housed on our student affairs website. Additionally, as a result of this panel, panel being recorded, we ask that you not post any identifying information about your student in the chat function. That way we can maintain privacy of our student population and information. We really appreciate your cooperation, thank you. Before we get started with our panelists, I wanted to share a few points to set the foundation for our time together this, this afternoon. My colleagues and I have been working excitedly over the past few months to ensure that we have systems and operations in place to open safely and in accordance with current CDC and local guidelines. We're planning on having a staggered move-in process starting Monday, August 16th, and our classes are slated to start on August 23rd. For the safety of our students and our community, we're requiring all students to be vaccinated for COVID. There are some exemptions to the vaccine, including those for medical, religious, or personal and philosophical reasons. That information is available on our Loyola website and your student should have received numerous communications via email and text on how to upload their vaccination documentation. If you haven't heard from us in a minute, Thank you, that means that your vaccination status has been recorded. However, if you have heard, heard from us, if your student has heard from us, that means that their vaccination status has not been recorded and we're nearing the deadline for that. So we really appreciate your cooperation there. We do, or we will continue to have several rooms set aside for COVID positive cases and for those awaiting testing in our residence halls. For students who will be in quarantine and isolation, we will do our very best to provide support in much the same way that we did all of last academic year. However, I encourage you to have conversations with your student about the reality of such a situation and what that would look like for you and your family should that uh, come about with your student. So onto our panel. For our panel this afternoon, each departmental representative We'll share a few minutes worth of information regarding their area, and then we'll have time to engage in the question and answer session. First off, I'd like to introduce Asia Wong, our Director of Loyola's University Counseling Center and Student Health Services. Hi, everybody. My name is Asia Wong. I am a licensed clinical social worker. Um, I've been at Loyola about seven years now. Um, what I tell parents always is that it's my team's job to help your students stay happy, healthy, and well. So as, as part of enrollment, we do provide uh, counseling services and student health services. Student health is like your urgent care slash primary care slash student nurse on campus. Our team is very warm um, and welcoming to the students. We do have COVID testing in clinic, as well as a series of normative other health services. 
Upstairs at the UCC, we provide free confidential mental health counseling to all currently enrolled students. Loyola is a very open and supportive environment around mental health. We do tend to see between 20 and 25% of the student body. Not surprisingly, our largest population are freshman students as they navigate that transition to college. If you have any questions, I encourage you guys to uh, go to our website or shoot me an email. Thanks. Hi everyone, my name is uh, Brett Simpson. I'm the athletic director here at Loyola uh, and to kind of piggyback on what Asia said about keeping our students well, I also run uh, the university sports complex. So in athletics in the USC, we like to say we have a little something for everyone. So um, that includes cardio machines, strength training, group X, fitness classes, personal training. We have a swimming pool, racquetball courts and basketball courts. In athletics, we have 18 sports, uh, and I have to read them because if I forget someone, I get in trouble. So uh, bear with me. We have men's and women's cross country, volleyball, men's and women's basketball, men's and women's swimming, competitive cheer and dance, baseball, men's and women's tennis, men's and women's golf, men's and women's indoor and outdoor track and field. Uh, we're coming off one of our most successful years in Loyola history. We had top 10 finishes in nationals for women's golf dance and men's basketball. And uh, we're super proud of the fact that our, we're, our student athletes are true students and athletes. All 18 teams, uh, all 18 of our teams were honored by the NAIA as scholar teams. That means each one of our athletic teams had a 3.0 GPA or better. Um, and then lastly, we offer student employment opportunities in our department. Uh, some of that is work study uh, that your student may or may not um, qualify for, but we have some other paid positions as well, including building managers. Uh, those are our student leaders who help run the building. Uh, lifeguards, we always seemingly have a need for lifeguards. So if your student is certified in being a, in being a lifeguard or is interested in being certified, we can help with that as well. Uh, we have some customer service assistants uh, as well as game day staff and other athletic uh, assistance positions. So. Uh, look forward to welcoming your student in the fall, um, and I'll turn it over who's next. Hello, everyone. My name is Chris Rice, and I am the Director of Residential Life at Loyola New Orleans. Um, residential Life is really focused on housing and housing your students. We house first-year students in Beaver and Buttock Halls, and then we have upperclassmen students in some specialty assignments in Beaver Hall, but a call and then our upperclassmen suites and apartments in Carrollton, Cabra and Founders. Each community and residential life will have a resident assistant. This is an upperclassman student that we hire for the year who's designed to assist your student and needs uh, whatever they may be from how do I get to class, where is this building, to I'm having roommate issues, or I need a consultation on where I should go in the university for help. So they're here to help. Each building also has a professional staff member called a community director who manages the uh, function of the building and also uh, supervises the resident assistants. And then my central office team, which is myself, the associate director, Jay Davis, and our office manager, Tony Breland, are also here to help. In residential life, we manage uh, packages and mail uh, that is not USPS for students, and we'll, they'll be able to pick up our packages at our centralized package location. Um, like Brett, we are also looking for employees. We're going to be hiring work study and budget for our desk assistants, which will be manning the front desk of the buildings, and our office assistants, which will be managing packages and our main office phone lines and uh, customer service responses. Each residence hall uh, has a programming model where we'll be pro doing specific programming in the communities for your students to help them get to know one another, acclimate to the institution, learn more about themselves, and really engage in New Orleans and the city as, as a whole. And then finally, we have some great leadership opportunities um, through our Residential Housing Association. The Residential Housing Association is our student leadership organization for all residential students, and they're designed for advocacy of the resident students, programming, and uh, leadership for de development for those involved. Uh, so if you have any questions about housing, I'm happy to answer anything. Good morning, my name, I'm sorry, I missed my mute button. 
Um, good afternoon. My name is Charlie Casual. I'm with Loyola Dining. Um, we are here to feed your kids while while they're on campus and give them give them a great meal. Um, our goal is to give them a well-rounded, well-balanced um, options throughout the, the course of the time that they're here and give them as much comfort as we can. Uh, we have our dining facility as well as our retail locations and then our C-Store market. Um, we have an executive chef on campus right now as well as uh, residential operations director and retail director. Um, we also have a nutritionist on campus to help uh, guide the students with any questions they may have. Um, we also are excited to uh, hire students um, and we're looking for some part-time positions uh, for students to be able to work around their class schedules um, and be able to, to, to give them an opportunity to work a little bit while they're there. Um, we are very looking forward to the kids being back on campus and your students um, and, and having that, uh, that, that full and, and open dining facility. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Dale O'Neill. And um, first of all, I apologize that my video is not on. I am feeling a little under the weather, but since this is the one time that we're doing this over the summer, I did not want to miss speaking with y'all today. So I appreciate the grace. Um, I serve as the Director of Student Life and Ministry at Loyola. We're pretty much a one-stop shop for co-curricular engagement. Um, our office oversees campus recreation, so club sports, intramural sports, um, campus-wide events. We typically have about two events a week open to all students free of charge, anything from movie nights to our annual snow event where we bring in tons of, of snow and the students are able to have a snow fight in the, in the front lawn of, the, uh, of Loyola. Um, so I always tell students there's no reason for you to be bored. There's always events going on on campus free of charge for them. Um, our office also oversees commuter services. So if your student is not living on campus, we want to make sure that they have the program and programs and resources um, to help them be successful. So all of our first year students are assigned a commuter assistant who's an upperclassman commuter who mentors them, um, shares resources, and basically connects with them on a weekly basis. We also have a commuter lounge, commuter lockers, and a commuter student association. Our office also oversees fraternity and sorority life. Um, we have four different councils of fraternities and sororities. Um, about 16% of our student population participates in fraternity and sorority life. Um, I serve as the lead advisor for fraternity and sorority life, um, and it's one of my favorite parts of my job. So I'm happy to answer any questions about um, Greek life at Loyola. Um, our office also oversees new student programs. So um, your students should have should be completing our virtual new student orientation modules right now. Um, it is mandatory for all incoming students to complete those virtual modules online. In addition, um, as a parent or caregiver, you can also watch those videos. And um, while it is not mandatory for you, I think it is a wonderful resource for you to to learn uh, about the ins and outs of Loyola. So that is available to you. And um, we also, as a part of new student programs, implement Wolfpack Welcome, which you uh, will have gotten some information out, uh, information about, but we hope to post the schedule for that on our website by the end of the week. It starts the Wednesday before school, and it is uh, programming for all first years required from Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday is the first day of school. Um, we do everything from social programming so they can meet their peers, um, policy review, such as um, sexual assault policy review, Title IX, student conduct, and then ample opportunities for them to meet faculty and staff. When we post the schedule later on this week, you will also notice that we do have some optional programming for parents and caregivers during that time as well, um, if you are moving your student into campus and are staying for a little bit of time. 
Our office also oversees student organizations. We have over 130 student organizations. So again, no reason for your student to get bored. All of them are listed on our website. And if for some strange reason, they don't see anything that they're interested in, which would be strange because there's 130, um, they can actually create their, uh, their own student organization. All they need is five members, a constitution and an advisor, and I'm happy to help them with that. And then on the ministry side, um, we oversee social justice um, programming. We have Christian life communities, which are small faith sharing groups that meet on a weekly basis. Um, if your student is interested in participating in sacramental life, Father Greg in, in our office does host sacram uh, sacrament classes. Um, we oversee Ignacio Volunteers, which is our immersion program. Um, we have two immersion programs, one that's locally in New Orleans, and then another program that goes to Jamaica and does service work twice a year in Jamaica. Um, we have different community service opportunities, specifically through our Loyola University Community Action Program, which is a student group that does service on a weekly basis. Our office also provides various different retreats. We have our first year retreat. We have our awakening retreat that we do um, twice a year. We have a sophomore retreat. We have a senior retreat. We have lots of different retreats. And then we also provide an organized worship on campus. And so we do have a uh, daily mass on campus. We also coordinate interfaith opportunities. So if your student is not Catholic, and um, we 100% we want to still support them in their, in their faith formation. So we do provide some opportunities for interfaith programming on campus. And we do connect students with other houses of worship in the city. And then last but not least, our office oversees Iggy's Cupboard, which is our on-campus food pantry. Um, we have frozen food and non-perishable items, as well as school supplies and technology. Um, and that is open to all students, confidential, um, and that is in the lower level of the Dana Center. Lastly, our office oversees the student union. Um, and within the student union, we do have our bookstore. Unfortunately, the manager of our bookstore is not able to be with us today because he's on vacation, um, but he is wonderful. His name is Maury. And I'm gonna put the link to the bookstore and their phone number and the email into the chat. So if you have any questions or concerns, you can reach out to them. Um, a wonderful tip is if you are on social media, they are very active on Instagram and are constantly posting about coupons and sales. Um, so if you are on Instagram, I would definitely recommend following them. Thank you so much. Happy to answer any of your questions. Hi, I think it's my turn. I'm Walter Jones with Aetna Student Health. And uh, I am an account manager for Loyola, uh, working with Loyola University. And we are very excited to be partnering with Loyola to offer your students a very robust health insurance plan that covers them throughout the country as well as traveling abroad. Um, I encourage parents to uh, review the plan brochure as well as go to the website. We do have a uh, dedicated student health customer service team available to you Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Should you have any questions on the plan, we are all set, ready to go, and again, excited to be partnering with Loyola University and offering this plan. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate all of the valuable information. Um, I also wanted to share, um, parents and family members, if you have any questions about student conduct, Title IX, or our behavioral intervention team, our BIT team, please don't hesitate to let me know. Um, those offices, those departments fall under my purview. Um, so I'm happy to answer any questions if after you've reviewed our information on the website, you still have questions. And so now we'll open it up for our Q&A. And so I'm looking at the chat and it seems like questions are being asked and answered already. Um, so there was a question at the beginning about ice hockey, club ice hockey and club intramural sports. Um, we don't have an ice hockey team on campus. Um, however, Daniel Harris, who oversees our intramural and club sports teams would be able to provide more information. And Brett um, included his email address in the chat. Um, he also answered the question about the medical packet and acknowledgement for the COVID for athletes. Um, so he'll be in touch 
with that person. There was a question about automatic monthly tuition payments for which Chris Rice provided uh, information about where you can find out about that process. And then Charlie provided our information about um, dining, uh, particularly the <clears throat> dining office being, I'm sorry, the dining hall, the campus dining hall being open on August 18th, but having retail locations open at that time and, um, and before. So you could see the, the exact hours um, at that website. Um, let's see, Chris, did you get to the question about um, res hall assignments or can you maybe speak to that? Because there might be a few people who have questions about Yeah, so uh, for all first year students, we were able to get who met the June 15th deadline. The assignments have uh, were gone out on June 15th. Uh, for first year students who uh, applied after that date, um, we have gotten almost everyone in and we're sending an updated assignment out on Friday um, to first year and upperclassmen students who weren't assigned through our room selection process. This also includes uh, transfer students. Um, we are assigning based on the two year residency requirement first, and then we're gonna fill in with uh, juniors, seniors, and graduate students uh, per space being available after that. So look for an email, uh, should go out Friday morning, if not sooner. Thank you, Chris. Asia, would you mind answering verbally the question about uh, being billed in student health? Uh, Absolutely. And, yeah, appreciate it, thank you. So for students who have the Aetna plan, services in student health are free, um, are covered by the insurance. For students with other insurance plans, it would just be the normal copay or deductible, depending on whether uh, Loyola is in or out of network for your plan. Um, we are working currently on getting credentialed with as many plans as possible. So um, I hope that's helpful in terms of making that decision. Thank you, Asia. And participants, Walter uh, shared the website where you can find information about the Aetna Health Insurance Plan. It's in the chat. So feel free to cut and paste or copy and paste that into your browser to find more information. Um, let's see. There's a question about getting educational testing documentation for accommodations in the right hands. Asia, do you wanna to speak to that? Sure, so the correct contact for that would be the Office for Accessible Education. Um, I can, Virginia, I can send you that website separately or if you just go to our website, it's part, they're part of the Student Success Center. Very accommodating. We definitely suggest anyone who has had accommodations in high school to go ahead and register with them going into fall um, so that there's no disruption in those services. Walter, there's a question on here that um, indicates that the insurance company could not find Loyola in the network. It said it's likely listed based on the doctor. Is that something that you wanna follow up directly with, um, with the person who posted? Walter, you're on mute. Yes, I can follow up with them directly. Um, however, are they looking for a particular provider to confirm whether that provider is a network? So Walter, with the chat function, I think it would probably be best to connect individually with this person. So if you could maybe um, direct the uh, person of how to get in touch with you or someone on your team about that question, I think that that would probably be most helpful. Okay, we will do. Thank you. Um, the next question involves a list of things needed for the res hall. Chris, can you um, share a little bit more information about that? Yeah, so I, in, in our website, I put on the chat, I put a link to our website. Um, basically, we'd ask you to bring everything that your student would need to be successful. So clothes, uh, books, all their kind of study items. Um, we do ask that everyone bring a mattress cover to go over your mattress that is required. 
Um, you also want to bring uh, personal face coverings. We do ask for an emergency go back. Um, so things that they would need in case we have to evacuate for uh, inclement weather or if they have to go to uh, isolation or quarantine. Um, so a set of clothes, pajamas, those kind of things. Um, <clears throat> We, uh, so basically, you know, the furniture, the rooms are provided. So kind of bring you with uh, standard furniture. So kind of everything you would need to kind of live uh, for the semester and, and wars are there. The things we'd ask you to leave at home are uh, microwaves. Uh, we cannot, uh, you cannot have a microwave unless it is connected to a micro fridge unit. Um, anything with an open coil device, which include um, freezer, uh, uh, air fryer, fryers or air fryers, um, or other things that could be a fire safety hazard such as uh, halogen lamps, candles, incense, um, extension cords that aren't surge protectors, and then no um, uh, knives, weapons, anything like that. Um, if you have specific questions about uh, individual items um, or types of, you know, types of things that can fit into your space, please reach out to our office and we can answer those for you. Thank you, Chris. Walter, there's another question on here that says, where do we find which health insurance plans Loyola's works with? An okay. Question. Yeah. Alicia. Yeah. So um, we are currently working with a variety of health care of insurance providers to uh, get credentialed to be in network. I'll post that list to the student health website as soon as it's ready. Um, and if you want me to email you individually, go ahead and shoot me an email. I'm at a wong, a w o n g at loino.edu. So we're in a in process with a bunch of networks. Thank you, Walter. Thank you, Asia. Chris, there's another question for you about shipping things to campus prior to move in. Could you clarify that for the group, please? Yeah, so we uh, allow students to pre-ship items uh, to campus. We ask that uh, they arrive by August 2nd, but if it comes August 3rd or 4th, uh, because we know there can be shipping delays, we, anything arrived um, during that time frame will be pre-delivered to the room. Um, we do have some boxes, box limits um, that are sent in the assignment email, um, and I'll put those in the chat for everyone to know. We do ask that you limit it to uh, two large boxes um, because of uh, uh, kind of our staffing needs and getting them to the room. If you have some um, special concerns or need to ship more items, uh, please reach out to me um, and we can discuss those and give, um, you know, discuss if we need to make any accommodations or special approvals for those. Uh, really the kind of the box limits are like 36 inches by 48 inches uh, by 36, kind of those large square moving boxes. Uh, anything larger than that, it's really hard for my staff to be able to deliver them. Thank you, Chris. We have a question about whether or not students need face coverings, even if vaccinated. Um, so as it stands right now, the city of New Orleans is having a press conference this afternoon. Given the Delta variant, we are anticipating that masks, uh, mass requirements may change for the city of New Orleans. And so we'll be sending out communication after this afternoon's um, press conference to let the community know the expectations. As of now, uh, 12.30 p.m. Central Time in New Orleans, uh, masks for vaccinated are not required indoors or outdoors, only for unvaccinated. However, uh, that's subject to change and may change over time as well. Uh, another question is whether or not a thermometer um, is required. It's not required uh, for a student to have a thermometer when they move into the residence hall. However, we do strongly encourage that for symptom checking and symptom assessment, especially on a daily basis if students aren't feeling well or aren't sure, uh, temperature checking is certainly encouraged and then they can call student health for an appointment if, if needed for that day. We encourage um, parents to pack sort of a little first aid kit to send with your student any normative medications that they take, any over-the-counter stuff for cold and flu, uh, thermometer, absolutely. Just that little tiny medicine box for them to bring with them.
Chris, did you answer the um, question in the chat about, in, thank you, Asia. Did you answer the question about the label of the boxes that will be shipped to Loyola? I didn't see that, but I will. Okay, okay, great, thank you. And is there a service to order vetting this year, Chris? Yeah, it's through uh, University and Student Services. Um, I will put a link in the chat um, and they partner with Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, so that should be delivered directly to the university and it does not count as one of your large boxes. Great. And did you put in the chat the list of, or the website where the list of students to bring items? Yes, I did. Is located? Great, it's in the chat, perfect. Um, do parents need to pick up boxes, Chris, and take them to the room or will they be put in a student's room before? Yeah, so everything that arrives kind of that week of August 2nd, we're gonna be putting in the room. As we get to the week of move-in, we're not gonna have the uh, staffing to uh, place things in room. Um, so while we will close off our package, we will work with parents who need to get items. Um, and so late arriving packages will be picked up through our main office. Thank you, Chris. Now the question, can students move in and stay in the residence hall room on the 16th of August? Yeah, so once students meet their check-in day, um, they're fully in our system and they're allowed to stay. So once we've checked them into our system and handed them their keys, uh, we expect them to be occupying the space until they have checked out. Excellent. And Chris, I'm going to stay with you for a minute. Yeah. Um, the shuttles for groceries, entertainment, shopping trips, those sorts of things. Do we have an Yeah, so we've met with Lou PD on them. Um, they are going to change slightly. We're working on the schedule. Uh, there is a Rouse's, which is now opened on Ferret Street. Um, so they're, go they're looking to adjust the grocery runs to those locations. Um, and then they're going to change the Walmart drop-off location to a closer, more convenient uh, Walmart. Um, and so we met last week uh, to discuss timing and dates and that's gonna be finalized. And once it is, I'll make sure it's communicated out to all residential students. Thank you, Chris. And then um, with regard to a question about bringing a mini, mini fridge, and an oscillating fan. Can you speak to whether or not those are? Uh... Yeah, so oscillating fan, no problem. Uh, mini fridge, we ask it be limited to one per bedroom. Um, and then it needs to be less than 3.3 cubic feet. Perfect, thank you. And then the bicycle question, I think I can manage. Uh, those are outside only. And we encourage um, a, a U-lock for our for your students to bring with them to keep the bicycles um, outside at our various racks across campus. Um, and they can register those bikes with Lou PD as well. Um. Yes, our Loyola Police Department has an engraving service, and so if that's something that your student would like to have done for any personal belongings, uh, bicycles. Um, they would just need to show up to our uh, Loyola University Police Department headquarters. It's going to be the same place where they pick up their ID, so they'll be familiar with it when they get to campus, and they can have that service happen. Um, there is no shuttle bus service fee. Um, that is uh, a service that we provide without cost to students. And then Asia, there's a question about whether or not we have a wellness center or clinic for small medical things. Can you just talk about um, some of the services that Student Health provides, please? Sure, I was just about to send Joe the link for our Student Health, but I can uh, post it for everyone. Student Health provides uh, well woman visits, normative primary care services, uh, some urgent care services, and then Think about your school nurse. So cuts, scrapes, bruises, um, all of that good stuff. Thank you, Asia. Um, Chris, is Russ Hall insurance included in the housing bill? I don't think so. 
Um, so renter's insurance is not included in the housing bill. We partner with GradGuard. Um, and so if your student could have opted in to receive information when they fill out their housing application. Um, if you did not get information from them, you can uh, reach out to us and I'll connect you with our contact. Um, a lot of students also will see if they get renter's insurance can be handled under um, either an existing rental insurance policy or through a homeowner's insurance policy. Um, but uh, the university is not liable if anything happens to the items in the room. So I would encourage all students have renter's insurance. Very good advice. Question about students receiving their ID cards when they arrive on campus to move in. So they will not, the ID cards um, will not be included in their move in packet. However, students can report to our LUPD headquarters, our Loyal University Police Department headquarters, to pick up their ID uh, there and we'll be posting hours. Your students will know what hours our headquarters is open for, the, for them to go ahead and go in and um, pick up their ID. Um, Chris, are there many fridges for rent or does the student need to bring it? Uh, through Collegiate Concepts, we do offer uh, rental micro fridges um, and those are based on an available basis. Collegiate Concepts will allow you to purchase a micro fridge through them as well, or you can purchase a mini fridge that meets our 3.3 cubic uh, feet or less uh, requirement at any Target, Walmart, Lowe's. Uh, we have a lot of uh, those stores around, so if you don't want to bring it, you can always buy it when you get here. Thank you, Charlie. I've got a dining question about hours. Did you want to refer to the website or did you want to speak to that? Um, they can refer to the website for the dining hours. Um, we are open seven days a week and we will have service from 7 a.m. to 2 a.m. Uh, for the students. Um, the weekends hours do vary a little bit, but each location is listed um, and there are different hours of operations for each location. So. Um, to get a, a really good look at those hours, I would say visit the website and you can get as much information as you like. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us as well. Thanks, Charlie. Could you repost the website, please, in the chat because it might have gotten lost a little bit higher in sure, absolutely, the no problem. traffic. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. So Chris gave um, the mailing information for boxes before move in. Asia also read my mind and encouraged tuition insurance. It's very affordable and recommended for those emergencies that you're not anticipating, but much like rental insurance, it can be extremely helpful if the need arises. So I encourage you to check that out. It might, it's a little hidden gem. I don't think that most people know about, but when they do, some folks absolutely choose to, to acquire it. Is there a list of places that the shuttle drives students? Chris, our website should be up to date with that information shortly, correct? Yes, uh, once it is finalized, we'll put a location and a schedule uh, up on the transportation website for LUPD. Um, they will also do special requests, um, depending on what your students need, you just have to talk to them as well. Great, thank you everyone. Um, there's a question about extra COVID cleaning protocols in the residence halls. Um, we will not have extra cleaning protocols per CDC guidelines. However, we will have consistent standard um, cleaning protocols in the residence halls in all of our buildings on campus. Um, so I anticipate that um, all will be well. We're also gonna have hand sanitizer, stations across campus um, and uh, students will have the opportunity to utilize those when and as needed. Okay. Lots of student jobs available. Do students inquire in person or are those listed on a website? Yeah, so I think either or to be honest, um, but our career development center here at the university utilizes a platform called Handshake for the, the uh, student jobs that are available to them either on or off campus. And so if you visit our Career Development Center or take a look at the Student Success Center's um, panel that happened a couple of weeks ago, there'd be more information there. And Dale just posted the information about that site for job openings. Chris, there's a 
$49 fee per box to ship through USS. Is that correct for delivery to rest hall rooms? Yes, that is correct. That is um, an extra service we provide uh, through the company and the day does cover their cost of um, receiving and delivering to rooms. Uh, but for boxes shipped directly to my office, uh, we do not have a cost for those. Alicia, Chris, just to chime in, um, I think a wonderful tip for parents is we do have Amazon lockers on campus in our Dana Student Union and in the Broadway Activities Center. So throughout the year, if you or your student purchase anything from Amazon, it could be delivered directly to those lockers. And then typically your student or you will get an email or text message when, the, when it has arrived. So that's another great resource for you. Thank you, Dale, appreciate that um, information. Is there an on-campus bank? No, we do not have an on-campus bank. We have a couple of ATMs that are per uh, charged per use um, and have some bank affiliations, uh, but no bank on campus. Um, there are a few close by. Um, and so if you need some assistance with locating a bank, um, feel free to send an email to me or um, Dr. O'Neill, we can get you um, get you connected. Chris, did you have something to say? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, are the res halls already cleaned or are we expected to go in there and clean them on uh, move-in days? Yeah, so our WFF team, our cleaning staff has turned over all the residence hall rooms. Um, they've been turning them over throughout the summer and we're in the process of rechecking rooms just to make sure if anything needs to be any touch up or those kind of things. If you have any concerns with cleanliness, uh, please reach out to the RA or our community director when you move in and we can have those addressed with uh, our WFF team. Excellent. I really want to thank everybody for their questions. Really appreciate you asking. Who does my student conduct for AP high school courses credit? Don't want her to take classes. She can get credit. Um, I'm not exactly sure about that. Dale, do you have any knowledge about that one? And so your student should submit their transcript to admit at loino.edu um, and that the individuals who receive those emails will review it, um, send it to the registrar and um, apply it to your student accounts. Um, your student also should be in contact with their academic advisor for their college, and I would recommend your student in that meeting with them um, share what AP classes they have taken and talk through it with them, or if they've already had that meeting, just send a follow-up email. If for some odd reason your student hasn't heard from their academic advisor yet and have, hasn't had that scheduled meeting, please let me know and I'll put my name in the chat and my contact information and I will make sure their faculty advisor reaches out. Dale, for the next question about the language requirement in the College of Business, um, are they supposed to take the language test? Um, I'm not as familiar with the academic specifications for each college. Do you know about that one or should we refer to the College of Business? Yes, that's another referral to their faculty advisor in their college. Typically all these tests are online. You do not have to come in person and physically, actually none of them, you have to come in and physically do the test, but that would be a question for their academic advisor in the College of Business. Excellent. Um, Chris snail mail question, um, PO box on campus. Yeah, so we have a US post office on campus and then each residence hall has post office boxes within or near uh, the residence halls. And so after at move in, uh, you'll be able to pay your student will be able to pick up their PO box code and number from the US post office in the Dana Student Center on the first floor. Uh, after you pass the subway and sushi and make a left, 
um, and you can't miss it. Um, and they'll be able to pick it up there and then you'll just be able to mail um, anything they need through there. And then if they get packages that are too big to put in the US post office box that they receive, they can pick them up from the US post office and the Dana Student Center. They'll have a slip in their box. All right, my friends, I'll just monitor the chat for any further questions. Wolf bucks can be used for sushi, et cetera, or is it considered a flex meal? Yes, wolf bucks can be used for sushi. Um, I do not believe that it would be a flex meal. No, wolf bucks only. Can I get a list or contact of the academic advisor for political science? Joe, I'm gonna have to get back to you because there's several different advisors depending on your student. Um, if you can send an email to me, I'm going to put my email in the chat um, so that I can follow up with the person in political science. I just want to make sure I get the right person to you. There you go. So that you can see that and get back to me via email so we can get you connected. All right. I think. We have covered all of our questions and topics today. Sorry if I missed this. Can Chris clarify wolf bucks, meal swipes, flex meal? Yes. Yeah, so wolf bucks are dining dollars uh, that'll be on your student's card and they can be used at all retail locations on Loyola's campus, uh, food retail locations. Uh, meal swipes are meals that can be used in the Orleans room, and these are rotated on a weekly basis. So if you have uh, the five weekly meal plan, uh, you have five meals to use in the Orleans room that week. If you don't use them that week, so if I have two left over on uh, the end of the week, so Saturday or Sunday, I would uh, not be able to use them the following week, so I would lose them. The flex meals are kind of like a block plan that are used throughout the entire semester. So I could use those at any point and it takes it down like a, um, um, like a declining balance. So you start with 50 or 75 and then you have to till the end of the semester to uh, use them. Meals do not roll over from semester for flex plans. So if you have any left over at the end of the fall, you will not get those in the spring. But wolf bucks do roll over from fall to spring, uh, but they will end, they will uh, shut off at the end of the spring semester. They do not roll over the summer. Thank you, Chris. And then can you type in the chat um, again what is needed for um, what is needed for sending a package, please? Yep, yep thank you. Um, can Wolf Bucks be used at Tulane as well? Um, that is still being determined. Uh, we are currently in talks with Tulane about cross campus dining uh, with the recent surge in the Delta variant. Um, we're just pressing pause on that for a minute um, to see about that decision as we get closer to campus opening. So as soon as that information um, has been decided, I will certainly share that. Um, let's see, a payment plan was set, but I keep getting payment requests to pay the full amount by August 12th. Um, uh, Joe, in reading that, I would, or whoever's using Joe's iPhone, I would indicate that you call uh, our student financial services to determine the reason for um, the continued correspondence. Um, the person that I would um, try calling is Mary Muso, and I'm going to put her email in the chat function so that you can uh, get something um, over to her 
to see um, if there's anything that needs to be rectified there. Um, do students need to supply their own toilet paper, Chris? Um, we do provide uh, toilet paper for Buttig, Cabra, Carrollton, and Founders at the desks during the day. Uh, students can pick up one or two rolls at a time. Uh, in Beaver Hall, they are um, uh, replaced by the cleaning staff when they do their uh, uh, cleaning twice a day. Thank you. Okay. What's the setup per floor at Beaver in terms of bathrooms and bedrooms, Chris? So uh, you will have 40 to 50 students uh, on each floor, it's wings. Uh, so the floor is uh, 40 rooms uh, split in half by a uh, common lounge. And then each wing has its own bathroom and the wings are set via gender. Uh, so we have uh, each wing will be either all female or all male identifying students. Um, and so each uh, community bathroom will have four showers, four sinks, four stalls uh, for the use. Chris, the, uh, I'm assuming that the six in room 612 in body stands for the sixth floor, correct? Yeah, so the first number in our, all of our assignments are the floor you will be on. Um, the next two numbers would be your individual room uh, with some of them having uh, A or B uh, afterwards for certain bedrooms, particularly Cabra and uh, Carrollton. You may see an additional number after that and that's your slot number. So either one or two students in the room, your slot will be A, B or C. Um, laundry is uh, free for all students. Um, we are in the process of working to replace all laundry machines on main campus. The Cabra and Founders were replaced the previous year. Um, and so um, that, that'll hopefully be done. We're working with the company to get it done before move in. Uh, so we're finalizing that schedule next week. Um, but laundry is free. We do ask students bring uh, Tide Pods. Uh, the most uh, often cause for laundry malfunction is uh, over detergent. Uh, so the Tide Pods keep you from, um, from doing that. Thank you, Chris. Okay. We're coming up on time as we get closer to the top of the hour. So I want to give a big thank you to our panelists and all of our participant, participants for a great Zoom experience. Um, following our panel, um, you as participants will receive an email with a link to the recording and the name and contact information for each panelist, just in case you have any further questions. Or like I said previously, if you have a more private question that you would prefer to address with one of us individually, um, feel free to reach out at any time. We're, we're here to help and we see parents as partners, family members as partners. So really excited to have you here with us today and continued experience and connection uh, over the course of your students' time here at Loyola. Don't forget, you can also um, watch the orientation modules for more in-depth information on some of today's topics. The modules aren't required for parents like they are for students, but those can be found at orientation.loino.edu. Even though we, we went into um, lots of detail today. It goes even into more detail on those modules. So there's specific pieces or places that you want to get more detail. I encourage you to do that. In addition, um, come on over for Wolfpack Welcome. We have a parent schedule for a few parent-related programs that you can attend. Um, so those might be informative and also for you to just get a little bit more oriented to campus. Physically, we'd love to have you. 
And so without further ado, I um, really want to thank everyone again, uh, express my sincerest gratitude for your attendance and being with us today and encourage you to take good care and we will see you all soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.